Good morning, everyone. Steph here, and welcome to day. Uh, was it day nine of Vlogmas? It's uh, eight eleven. I need to get out of bed because we have a registration starting for one of our programs. It's one of those ones that's real big and really competitive. So I usually jump on just to make sure that there's no issues. Um, and then we're just gonna get ready for our day, and we're gonna go to work. To normal work day morning. Happy Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas. The camera does not like to focus on Mac when I show him. Hey, bud. Look, he doesn't look angry. Look at that. Mac, you always look angry. You look not angry. Ah, oh, that's so exciting. That's so exciting, bud. Love ya. <laughs> you guys, did I vlog earlier? I think I did. Hi, Tess. I don't even remember. It's, uh, well, it's like, oh, here, Mac, you wanna go outside? Mac, 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 Mac. You can go outside, bud. You wanna go outside, bud? You can go outside. Go for it. Tess wants to go outside, too. Go ahead. It's a little bit cold, but I'll come and get you pretty soon, okay? Yes, no? You wanna go outside? This is what we do every night. Oh, hi Tess. Mac, you wanna go outside? He likes to sniff the cat's butt on it. Okay, there you go, bye. Tess, are you gonna go outside? You wanna go outside, Tess? Tess? Okay. Okay. All three cats are outside. They get their outdoor time before I decide to go to bed. It's almost 10 o'clock. I haven't vlogged at all today, minus I think when I first woke up. I just got, I got home from work like maybe half an hour ago, but I was on a work call and just got off of that. So now I need to eat. I need to feed the cats and I, I need to eat. And then I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I need to actually film some advent calendar stuff for today and yesterday. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that and then I'll just go to bed because it's pretty quick to edit the video so I could do that tomorrow morning. It doesn't take too long because I don't film anything productive. It's just me talking to the camera. Maybe I should at least like show you guys stuff. What stuff should I show you? Um, here's my, my snack bookcase. Uh, a lot of these snacks were from Halloween. Uh, but I, but I use this stuff like I just got these two things. I got a box of cookies and the hostess donuts to use for the um, box outside for the delivery peeps. And then obviously I have like stuff that I can use for goodie bags and stuff. You always have to have stuff for goodie bags. Those are the goodie bag toys that I have. And then I also have like chips. I'll be honest though, I've eaten all the chips from this. Like I have been, I have these ones to put outside technically. But I'll be honest, I've been the one eating all the chips from this as well. Chips are definitely my weakness. Um, I have these pork chops that I brought to work that I didn't eat, so I'm gonna heat these up to eat these. And then, and then I don't know. Can I show you guys this? I got this from Sam's Club. It's hickory smoked salt. This one's a little bit like fake-ish. I love smoked salt. It's one of my favorite things. It's, I, it, I haven't been able to find a good smoked salt. I think the, I had a smoked salt from Hawaii one time and that was really good. Then Trader Joe's came out with this smoked salt grinder one time and that was really good. And that was like a holiday special so they haven't had it since. And then I've been trying to find smoked salt since then. And this one's not bad, but it tastes super, kind of a little bit fake. Like you can tell they use like liquid smoke I think to smoke that. Um, I don't show you guys all the stuff that I get. My fridge is a little bit messy right now, but I've got the leftover pork chops for my mom. I always keep a container of uh, chopped green onions. This is old curry that I need to throw out because I didn't finish it. I made that like the day before Thanksgiving, which was so dumb, or like two days. Like, why would I do that? Um, lobster bisque, which was okay, and then I have clam chowder from Sam's Club and from Costco, although, oh, I forgot I had one open. I don't know if that other one's still good. And then I get the snack packs, although I'm gonna give Amy that one because I don't like cashews. I got some beef franks. I like these to just dump in the air fryer. Um, I have some leftover food from a couple days ago. And then of course I have some prosciutto. And for when I sell a lot of, oh wait, yeah, when I sell a lot of things, when I hit my goal of, I think 10 or 15,000, I have caviar. Although this is only good till February, so 
I'm going to have to use soon. Now, this is not expensive caviar. I was going to get really expensive caviar, so I have that one and this one. But I decided that probably I should just try, like, medium, not really expensive. Like, this was $50, and I think that one was, like, $30. So, low, cheap caviar. Although, is cheap caviar going to ruin my experience? Is it going to make me think that caviar is not good? I don't know. Who knows? I got some sourdough bread. I'm going to give one of these loaves to Amy. And then I got, look, at Sam's Club, they had these, it's these giftable <laughs> Reese's peanut butter cups, half pound each. Isn't that funny? I was going to give one of those to T. I don't know if I'm going to see her, though. And then I also got, oh, I want to try this. They had, like, all these different types of butter. Like, it was, like, four different types. They had, like, I forgot what the other one was. They had, like, a honey butter with cinnamon and a honey butter with, like, something else. But this is garlic butter with Parmesan cheese and basil. So I thought that might be good, like, if I if I toast some of the sourdough and I spread it on, maybe it's good. And then I also got these mousse, these chocolate mousse cups. I gave Chris and Soren a bunch of them, so I haven't tried those yet, but those look good. They're brownie mousse cups, like, I think. And then I got this mac and cheese, which also looks really delicious. But I think I'm going to give this to Dana and have the girls try it. Because she said that she had a bunch of potato, is it gratin? Gratin? Potato gratin? Um, that they couldn't finish. So I was like, oh, I'll swap she. I'll swap these with you. You can have the um, mac and cheese and I'll eat the potatoes. Because, you know, I like, I don't really like potatoes, but I like potatoes gratin. Gratin? Gratin. How do you even say it? I don't even know. Okay. Ooh, these are hot. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to eat these pork chops. I'll get a plate so I'm not a savage. And then I got to figure out what I'm going to... Oh! <gasps> I'm going to watch Grey's Anatomy. But Grey's Anatomy, that's like been recorded recently. Oh, the new series. Ugh. The new season, I should say. Not the new series. Sorry. Oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited about that. Okay. I'm going to eat my pork chops, watch my Grey's. And then we'll do advent calendars. See, look, I killed some time. There you go. There you go. Did I tell you guys I was obsessed with plants? I know my counter looks really messy, but at some point I became obsessed with plants. Um, but they're doing okay, kind of. They're doing okay. These ones are kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I think I might be overwatering. But this is my avocado plant. This is the one that I took an Instagram photo of. I never cut it. I was supposed to cut it, and I just couldn't do it. So we'll see if what happens. It's real tall. I probably need to water it. I don't have any drainage, so I was really worried. But, oh, look at the roots. You can see them. I left it in the container. There's my green thumb. I don't have a green thumb, but a little bit of a green thumb. But not really. Only a little bit. Okay. I'm going to eat now. What's up, guys? Future Steph here. And uh, we are going to do day nine advent calendars. I'm a little bit behind. And so I'm catching up today. Today's actually day 12, technically. But we're going to do day nine. So let's go ahead and get this party started. We're going to start off with our Pokemon Advent Calendar. Not my favorite calendar this year, I must say. I should have known better because it's very toy-esque, like little figurine toy-esque. And it's just not, it hasn't been my favorite. All right, we have a Vulpix. This looks like maybe like an Alolan Vulpix. I don't know if they have that in this, but it's, it's like, wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it. Sorry, guys, bear with me. Oh, camera struggles. Cute, though. It's a little figurine. Not bad. I think since I don't plan to necessarily keep all of these things just for, like, me, I might use these for, like, when I'm making goodie bags. I think the little figures are always pretty cool to add in. Okay, we have our two sock calendars. We have our men's Harry Potter calendar and then our women's kind of, like, kawaii-esque calendar, which I like. Um, I'm testing out this new way to do these because it's really hard to like hold the camera and open these at the same time so we're going to do number five because this is day number what i say nine i don't even know if that makes sense but we're going to go with it okay we got these blue socks i'm assuming these are going to be ravenclaw themed socks ravenclaw seeker i just said this in my last video that they're really giving the golden snitch a lot of like airtime right now in these socks um, I love the pattern of these. I don't like Ravenclaw. Sorry. No offense to all you Ravenclaw kids. It's not that I don't like you guys. I just have never... That's my, my least favorite house. Um, whenever I take tests, I'm always part 
I'm always usually Gryffindor or Slytherin, and then I want to be a Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw is just kind of that other one. But I do know I have a lot of Ravenclaw fans on the channel, so no disrespect to you guys. I just personally am not a Ravenclaw. All right, we're going to do number five in the Kwai'i. Oh, it says Seeker, so probably another golden stitch thing, you think? No. Oh my gosh, these are flipping cute. Wait a second. Let's take a look at these. I'm really excited about these. <gasps> yes, I love the socks that just, I love socks that just have things like faces. You see my, I think these are supposed to be, I don't, I think these are supposed to be Yoda socks. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, anyways, these are just little cute Harry Potter socks. I love these. Ooh, I love those. Those are probably some of my favorite socks that we've received all through the, all the advent calendars so far. I also don't remember any of the other ones, so don't take my word for it. Okay, we're doing day nine. So these uh, these pins have become somewhat of a mystery now because they stopped going in the order that it was listed in. So let's play guess this pin since we don't know what it's going to be. I'm going to say that this is going to be based off of Maleficent. I think. Let's see. No. We got Minnie Mouse. Okay. So we got the Minnie Mouse pin. It's very similar to the Mickey Mouse one, but Minnie Mouse design, of course. This is the one that I thought we were gonna get on day seven, but we didn't, so we got her on day nine. Still don't know exactly how I feel about these, but I am planning on getting a fake Christmas tree, and so maybe I'll use these as ornaments. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, what do we have next? <gasps> we have our Paka Paka, but we get to do our, our Kauai Village. Um, which I'm sad because I'm starting to run out of these, but I really like the Kauai Village. I'm trying to collect this whole set. You guys ready? Let's see what we got. What is it? Oh, yes! I was I was worried that we're going to start getting duplicates because I feel like at some point we are. So we have the Nagiri. Uh This is the, the shrimp one. Now, we do have the special... Oh, no. This might be a chase one because I think... Whoa, whoa, whoa. The rainbow one was common. That was one of the... I think that was the first one we got. And then we have this now, the actual orange one. Let's go ahead and look at this little sheet. I'm pretty sure that the orange one was a, yes, it's a chase. One in 18. So, so far in the past couple days, we've had some decent luck with the Paka Pacas, but I love this one. Ooh, very nice. Nice. That's exciting. That is exciting. Oh, look how cute this is. I've just been putting them. I have this little collection. I'll show you guys. Look at my little, my little Paka Paka collection. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Now I think last but not least we have our, is it Pokemon time? I think so. These balls away. I'm keeping these balls because I feel like I could use these for future advent calendars. I wish Pokemon cards would fit in these, but. Or for like prizes or something. Okay. So for today's, oh shoot, I don't know. For today's pack opening, what should we do? Let's do, let's do evolutions. We're gonna do evolutions. We'll do the, uh, we'll do the uh, shiny, shiny star V tomorrow for tomorrow's opening. Okay, so we have this evolutions pack with Blastoise. Of course, we are going for the elusive Charizard. Oh, we got a Pikachu though. That's not bad. There's the code card. Oh man, My, man, this camera is just really not doing well in the focusing. Uh, we got a green code card. So it's three card card trick. Maybe we can get some secret rares in this. It always confuses me that when we get the, the Poliwhirl and it's not a rare card just because in the base set it was a rare card, you know? So confusing. So there's our Pikachu. Ponita, Nidoran, Vulpix, Energy, Ratata, Reverse Hollow, and a Farfetch'd, regular rare. So nothing good for that pack. Nuts. Nuts. All right. That was our advent calendars for day nine. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't, I don't remember how the day went, but maybe it was really, really great. Or maybe it wasn't so great. I don't remember. No, it was day 10 wasn't great for me. Anyways, okay. Um, I'll see you guys though for tomorrow for day 10. Yeah? Right. Ah, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow, bye.